In this lecture, we are going to discuss the uh, the history of uh, public health and some aspect uh, in uh, public health. Uh, and uh, the outlines of this lecture include the history of public health, uh, the core activities uh, of public health, and the 10 great public health achievements, dimensions of public health, uh, health education uh, definition and the priorities, and the uh, health education principle and concept, health promotion, and the difference between health education and health promotion. Uh, the uh, public health, it is not a new subject. Uh, 500 BCE, the Greek and Romans practiced community sanitation measures. At that time, they have associated some of the uh, factors uh, or relationship between sanitation and the occurrence of, of uh, some diseases. And also, in uh, 1840, in United Kingdom, they were there. They first established the Public Health Act of 1848, and that was in UK established after the appearance of the epidemic of uh, uh, cholera. And they studied the relationship or the association of the occurrence of cholera with the uh, polluted water, uh, and uh, it was discovered by John Snow. And uh, at the 1970, uh, the first uh, the environmental protection agency was first founded in the United uh, in the United States for the protection of the environment. There are a large number of epi epidemics uh, occur globally, for example, influenza, which was the first uh, uh, epidemic was in the 1918, where it started first in Spain and uh, 500 million infected people uh, worldwide. Uh, and it caused mortality uh, among uh, among people everywhere at that uh, at that time. Uh, also, the epidemic of poliomyelitis. Uh, poliomyelitis it is one of the diseases which affect the the nerves and it causes uh, paralysis in affected part of the body. And it was one of the diseases which cause disability or death uh, in the previous centuries, but uh, until the year uh, 19, uh, 1955, where uh, the first era, uh, the, the first uh, establishment of the where the vaccination is established or introduced vaccination uh, for poliomyelitis was uh, est uh, established uh, at the uh, or introduced at the year 1955 and the uh, the the eradication initiative launched in 1988 that means one of the uh, goals of the world health organization was to eradicate the uh, poliomyelitis infection among uh, people or children by global uh, vaccination uh, of the of people and increase the coverage rate of uh, coverage rate of vaccination uh, of vaccination to prevent the occurrence of of uh, this disease uh, and it was nearly stab, uh, uh, achieved but and, uh, but because of the uh, war instability in some of the countries where children they don't have the vaccination or they didn't complete the vaccination vaccination schedule so they may uh, attract this infection among susceptible uh, people and there are sporadic cases of poliomyelitis in these uh, in these uh, countries uh, uh, at the year 19 1986 uh, uh, the discovery was uh, uh, where the discovery when the discovery of uh, HIV virus first established in France and uh, uh, this virus uh, caused uh, an acquired immune deficiency syndrome and it was uh, a widespread disease or global infection which affect uh, uh, 34 billion living uh, people uh, affect 34 million people and uh, worldwide but it has been noticed that this disease or the infection have been declined uh, in the year 2001 for 
for because of the uh, before because of the health education and the sexual education uh, to to prevent the transmission of of this this infection a smallpox smallpox it is one of the diseases which cause morbidity and mortality and severe disfigurement of the face of affected affected people and uh, until uh, the the vaccine ex uh, discovered poly uh, smallpox vaccine discovered and it is as a disease it is eradicated uh, eradicated globally and last case was uh, last case was registered in 1978 so this is an important achievement uh, uh, in public health Uh, health, public health workers to protect and improve health not only by responding to outbreaks and disasters. So, uh, we, as we mentioned previously, as a public health, they are not only uh, only uh, res responding to uh, outbreaks of infection or disaster, uh, but it, by implementing policies that support and work society at a society level. For example, there are a large number of Healthy policy, uh, healthy policy, which have been established uh, in different countries or globally to improve the health and to protect uh, the health of the people, uh, such as the establishment of a tobacco banning law, uh, which was established, uh, which was established uh, in. In 2000-2004, between 2000-2004, and a prevention of the uh, uh, smoking in public uh, in public places such as in the in the buses, uh, trains, airplanes, or restaurants, uh, in all uh, universities, colleges, and in the offices and the occupational uh, places. So, uh, in order to decrease the, uh, the risk of uh, this uh, uh, to the risk to to the of the exposure to to nicotine. Uh, another uh, important uh, health policy is dietary changes for the prevention of obesity. Obesity is regarded as one of the recent uh, public health uh, uh, epidemic or an increase in the uh, number of obese uh, people all over the world. And it is important to uh, to change the diet, dietary changes and the promotion of physical activity in order to decrease the risk of obesity among children. So we should start uh, uh, as early as uh, a childhood because uh, it has been estimated by different studies that obese child will be obese adult. So it is important to decrease or change the diet and increase physical activity in as early uh, as uh, uh, in early childhood in order to prevent obesity in the children. Another important policy is the iodization of salts and fluoridation of water. Iodization of salt to prevent hyperthyroidism and uh, fluoridation, uh, the addition of fluoride to the to the water in order to prevent dental caries because it has been found that there is a relation between iodide and um, iodide and uh, and the uh, occurrence of uh, uh, goiter and. Uh, and people and also the association between the uh, fluoride deficiency and the dental uh, decay. The main or core activities of public health include the followings. First, uh, prevention of epidemics and the spread of diseases. We have talked a lot about the, uh, the role of uh, uh, of uh, uh, public health in the in the prevention uh, in the prevention of epidemics and the spread of disease by detecting the source of the cause of the disease the risk factor and the mode of transmission in order to prevent or control the the the, the disease uh, the second uh, activities is a protection against environmental hazards we mentioned that the uh, there are there is an association between environmental hazard and and health so it is important to protect 
people or have certain environmental protection against the the uh, different uh, hazards such as the air pollution uh, air pollution or industrial uh, air pollution by uh, by diversion of the of the wastage to certain uh, 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 reserve or reservoir so it will not affect the health of the of people uh, the other activities is response to disasters and assists communities in recovery uh, there are different disasters disasters occur from now and then such as earthquakes or hurricane or um, a tsunami in different uh, societies uh, so it is important to uh, to uh, to uh, prepare the community or having certain uh, uh, services uh, uh, for the intervention as early as possible to prevent uh, health uh, to prevent the occurrence of uh, health problem uh, uh, for uh, for uh, for example uh, for example uh, even war even war it is one of the sources was one of the causes of some uh, of uh, this uh, instability and the disturbance of the health or, or the quality of life and this will affect the health of people because of lack of electricity lack of water supply proper water supply uh, for and they are maybe exposed to pollution such as radiation because of the weapon uh, which are used in the war and uh, and so on so it is important uh, to provide or be ready to have uh, certain services in order to uh, to, uh, to 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 protect the health of people a prevention of injuries injuries it is one of the common cause of morbidity and mortality there are large number of causes of uh, injuries which may affect the health uh, of people such as um, uh, t um, traffic accidents for example traffic accident or occupational uh, hazard occupational accident or injuries or uh, injuries among children such as poisoning or falls uh, or falls among elderly people so it is important to have different programs uh, and the preparation for uh, the prevention of injuries at different levels or different stages of life so there should be a program for the prevention of injuries among children for example education of mothers uh, how to protect the children from poisoning for example many children are, are exposed to to poisoning such as a drug poisoning so uh, by prevention of on counter uh, medicine so this may decrease the risk of uh, drug 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 poisoning or or kerosene kerosene poisoning uh, many children especially at winter they are at risk of kerosene drinking or uh, or uh, kerosene drinking where they think that it is water and especially if it is uh, it is not safe uh, saved in uh, uh, in uh, in a safe place so the children may drink this kerosene and they have kerosene poisoning and this will have an emergency in in the in pediatric in pediatric uh, wards uh, burn burn injuries burn injuries uh, which is more common in in winter so it is important to educate people especially in in winter because of the uh, because of burn injuries especially because they have improper uh, in, in proper heating uh, methods which may affect the and cause uh, cause uh, burn or or CO poisoning, carbon monoxide poisoning, is by if they use uh, uh, in, in a proper uh, heating uh, material. So it is important to educate people about uh, the risk of uh, uh, or how to prevent these these injuries. Uh, another important uh, activity is to promote healthy behaviors as we mentioned healthy behavior there are large number of healthy behaviors such as we educate people about how to have physical activity increase their physical activity and improve their uh, diet or having or consumption of healthy food in order to prevent obesity or cardiovascular uh, diseases or uh, diabetes and if, uh, promote 
promote health uh, behavior such as the prevention of smoking for example and uh, so on uh, assure the quality accessibility and accountability of health services health services is one of important uh, uh, important uh, source uh, or important uh, aspect in in the provide provision of good health services so it is important to have a good quality and uh, good quality health services and have a good quality of doctors and nursing staff for example good quality of doctors and the procedures and all these health services should be accessible to people they can use it when they need it and uh, it, uh, and uh, and it should be provided for people continuously and adequately uh, monitoring of the health status of the population. One of the important uh, aims uh, or goals of uh, health, public health is to monitor the health status of the population and uh, always to assess or estimate the mortality, morbidity, fertility, uh, an increase in the population uh, every year and, may, and, and always with, for comparison with the, previous, uh, with the previous years to see the trend of the population or demographic changes of the population uh, to see the increase or decrease in certain diseases. So it is important to monitor the health status of the, of the population. Uh, always mobilizing community action not only we are concentrating on the on the in the health centers or health institution but always we are going to reach to the community for people who cannot uh, uh, arrive or uh, consult the health care services so it is important to have different uh, uh, health surveys or campaign to assess the uh, health of the of the people uh, reaching out to link health risk, uh, high, link uh, to link high risk and hard to reach people to needed services. So it is important to establish the, those people who are high risk. High risk people, they may be a pregnant mother, children, handicapped, disabled people, elderly people. All these people, they are regarded at high risk and they are in need of special health services and we should approach or have a good approach for these people providing them with adequate uh, health services when they, they need it. Uh, reaching to develop a new insights and innovative solution always we have continuous evaluation of the health of the people and the health uh, services of the of the uh, provided to the people in order to see what is the deficit area what is the gap uh, in the in or in the quality of the health services which is provided in order to improve this health to health services to provide a better solution uh, for that uh, problems uh, leading, uh, leading the development of sound public policy or health policy and the planning core activities of public health. We have already mentioned that uh, as uh, uh, health personnel, they are always involved in providing some policies or health policies uh, uh, in order to improve the health status of the population in all aspects of life. Uh, so 10 great uh, public health achievements include the, the following. For example, vaccination. In the previous century, uh, infectious disease uh, uh, was the cause or was the major cause of uh, death uh, among uh, children and uh, among all people and uh, uh, it caused mortality and, and morbidity at that time. Uh, but after the uh, establishment or the introduction of vaccination uh, it, it has there was there is an reduction in the in the occurrence of these diseases communicable diseases uh, and uh, infectious diseases among children and all age groups by the introduction of vaccination such as the BCG vaccine uh, the BCG, BC, BC 
ECG vaccine and the for the for tuberculosis and the L diphtheria pertussis and tetanus uh, vaccine uh, and uh, polio vaccine uh, hemo uh, hip vaccine or hemophilus influenza type B uh, vaccination hepatitis B uh, vaccine and measles and MMR which is the measles and mumps and rubella all these vaccination are important uh, cause of the reduction in the morbidity and mortality due to these infectious uh, diseases. Uh, the second achievement is the uh, change in the uh, or reduction in the in the death or the effect of the trauma due to motor vehicle safety by motor vehicles by introduction of certain health policies in order to uh, decrease the risk of uh, uh, decrease the risk or prevention of a trauma or decrease the uh, trauma for uh, for example the introduction of the uh, seat belt uh, policy seat belt policy it may it does not uh, prevent the 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 accident but it decreases the effect of the of the trauma or wearing the uh, helmet and the uh, uh, for people who are uh, using the the bikes uh, in order to decrease the risk of trauma and so on a uh, safer workplace as a work or occupation it is regarded or it is uh, associated with the occurrence of some of the diseases which are called occupational diseases for example doctors doctors they are at risk of a different type of infections so they should be provided with protective equipment or material in order to prevent the transmission of of infections so uh, all these uh, before practicing medicine or before the initiation of the uh, clinical practice most of the uh, doctors all the doctors and nursing staff they should have uh, hepatitis b vaccination to inhib uh, to prevent the occurrence of uh, prevention of the occurrence of for example hepatitis b uh, among the health staff in addition for in this in these days because of the epidemic of uh, uh, covid-19 so all the uh, health health uh, staff they should be protected against uh, the uh, the virus by wearing the personal protective equipment which includes the gloves the mask or the face shield on the glasses and the uh, the gloves and the mask and the or the head uh, head pieces or head uh, head shield in order to prevent the the uh, the prevention of the transmission of infection uh, and among people who are working in clerical uh, uh, work or uh, occupation or in administrative work where they are always sitting on chairs or using the the computer in their work they should have certain protective uh, uh, or education uh, to prevent the occurrence of certain disease for example they should have uh, those who are sitting for a long period of time they may are at risk of sedentary life or decrease in the physical activity so they should have uh, uh, some uh, some physical activity or they should walk uh, every one hour in order for, te for uh, every one hour for five to ten for five uh, minutes in order to decrease the risk of sedentary life which is associated with with the uh, uh, coronary heart disease uh, or diabetes or other uh, or other other diseases uh, the control of infectious disease, as we mentioned, it is important to, uh, we have mentioned, by not only by vaccination, but by health education and by uh, protection uh, from different types of diseases, decline in death. Uh, from coronary heart disease and stroke and this is by modification of the lifestyle of the people by adopting healthy behavior changing their lifestyle for example having healthy diet uh, by reduction to reduce the, the the calorie intake the fat intake every day and uh, to have uh, vegetables uh, vegetables and uh, 
and uh, and the fruits uh, and also uh, an increase in the physical activity uh, and an increase in the physical activity in order to and the prevention of smoking to decrease the risk of these diseases family planning it is one of the important uh, health services provided for the women uh, through the and uh, through maternal and child health family planning um, uh, there are large number of methods uh, so there should be an education for the mother uh, during the antenatal care antenatal care and postnatal care about how to use the family plan different types or to choose the uh, proper appropriate uh, type of family planning method uh, which is suitable for each woman in order to control uh, the birth number of births or for spacing between birth in order to have appropriate number of of children and uh, and uh, and also need to follow up for the when they use the different types of family planning method fluoridation of drinking water uh, it has been established that there is association between fluoride deficiency and the occurrence of dental decay uh, so it is important to add fluoride to drinking water to decrease the risk of decay uh, recognition of tobacco use as health hazard according to the CDC uh, in 1999 it has been established that smoking uh, smoking my different say that smoking is regarded as a risk factor for different types or large number of diseases such as not only respiratory diseases not only respiratory diseases such as uh, chronic bronchitis or um, chronic bronchitis or cancer, lung cancer or bronchus cancer, laryngeal cancer, but also uh, different types of cancer such as stomach cancer, colon cancer, uh, uh, bladder cancer, and also associated with different types of, of for example, peptic ulcer uh, and large number of diseases associated with tobacco. So it is important. That's why they established establish uh, the uh, smoking uh, banning law uh, to decrease the risk of or prevent the occurrence of these diseases. Healthier mothers and babies and this is established because this is achieved by the establishment of good maternal and child health services um, uh, maternal health services are provided to uh, provided for women uh, before a pregnancy at a pregnancy and after a pregnancy to ensure that she has a good health uh, health uh, during uh, this period in order to have or to ensure that she will have a healthy baby uh, safer and healthier food it is important to provide um, uh, um, uh, the most important achievement is that the provision of safe food or healthier food uh, in different as in, in different types uh, dimensions of public health include health promotion. Health promotion is one of the important aspects in public health and it is the most, uh, most important example for health promotion as health education which is involved in all aspects or uh, different levels of um, uh, or all field of medicine and we are going to discuss that. Uh, disease prevention or by health protection such as by for example uh, vaccination uh, and uh, early diagnosis and the promoted treatment uh, be, there is a good uh, or a good achievement and it is important for early diagnosis uh, of diseases and there are different or many types of diseases which can be diagnosed early or by early detection and uh, uh, an early intervention is uh, promoted in order to to change the prognosis or change the course of disease for example on this point is the self breast examination all women are uh, educated uh, or to have a self breast examination frequently or periodically for by herself for early detection of uh, any changes 
in the uh, in the in the breast or detection of a mass in the breast for for early uh, consultation and intervention. This means that the early diagnosis and early intervention, and this will change the prognosis of the disease, prevent the the complication of the disease, and uh, and increase the survival rate of women after this uh, simple uh, simple uh, screening or early diagnosis. Or the another example of early diagnosis is is uh, uh, screening for uh, for cervical uh, cancer. Uh, this is what this is. Uh, there is uh, there are different guidelines which are applied for the detection of the human papilloma virus um, in the in the cervix of the woman by pap spear frequent frequent uh, frequent uh, 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 frequent uh, uh, done, uh, frequently done uh, the pap smear should be frequently done for the woman according to certain guidelines in order for early detection of the presence of a human papilloma virus human papilloma virus it is one of the virus which is um, which is associated with the uh, uh, cervical uh, cancer uh, cancer of the cervix in women which is very highly or highly malignant uh, highly malignant uh, 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 cancer which cause an increase in the more increase in the mortality and morbidity among women so it is important to apply this uh, uh, this uh, screening test for early detection and diagnosis of of cervical cancer uh, by pap smear in order uh, to have early intervention and there are large number of screening tests for early detection. For example, screening of children, uh, periodic examination of vision of children at school age. It is very important to have a preschool examination for vision and hearing and the IQ of the children. This is to screen for any visual problem or hearing problem because undetected visual or hearing problem this will affect the academic uh, achievement of uh, of children so it is um, many children they have low academic performance not because they are lazy or they are stupid or low iq but because they ha they cannot hear or they cannot see uh, in the class so it is important to periodically screen the vision of the children uh, or the or the vision or the hearing of the children to detect any vision problem or deafness which affect the academic performance of the of the children uh, disability limitation and rehabilitation this is an important aspect in the in the in the in, in the management of certain diseases for example stroke stroke or cva uh, cerebrovascular accident it is one of the uh, diseases which occur due to high blood pressure uh, or which is either due to uh, brain hemorrhage or uh, infarction uh, so uh, 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 this uh, the, the it, it is associated with the uh, hemiplegia or different aspect of paresis according to the area or to the area which uh, uh, brain effect, affected by by the uh, infarction or the or the bleeding so early intervention or early management it may change in the in the prognosis and uh, decrease the risk of disability among uh, among among patients and and also, this is a during early management and intervention. And after the, uh, if the uh, after the uh, after the management, also we are. It is important to have uh, different types of physiotherapy or frequent uh, or periodic physiotherapy to uh, help the body to return back to normal activities. Health education. Uh, health education definition according to World Health Organization. Health education term, we usually as medical uh, staff always, uh, doctors or nursing staff always using the term health education. So what is meant by health education? Health education is the process of providing information and advice um, and advice related to healthy lifestyle uh, and encouraging the development of knowledge attitudes and the skills or practice which is called cap uh, aimed at behavior changes of individuals committee so it is important to provide information 
to the people and, and advise them about improving their lifestyle, encourage them to develop healthy knowledge to develop knowledge, attitude, and practice which aim to uh, to change the behavior of people to have healthy, uh, good health. So uh, this will enable people to improve their health and increase or improve their lifestyle and improve the quality of life. The main objectives uh, of health education is informing people. Informing people, that means we provide them with knowledge or with information, health information, health information or medical knowledge about the about the occurrence of the disease, the risk factor, the transmission of the disease, the prevention of the disease in order to enable them or motivate them in order to have an action to modify their uh, their practice or their attitude in order to change their lifestyle and then we are guiding them to have to involved in some actions to change their behavior so health education is defined as any combination of learning experience which are designed to, to facilitate the voluntary adaptation of behavior conducive to health. So it should be voluntary. It should be voluntary because we cannot force people to change their behavior. But we we pursue them or we explore them, explore the healthy information and we pursue them in order to change their uh, the behavior which are conducive or promote their their health. So it is important to uh, have uh, to uh, to enforce on the letter which is voluntary, uh, which is significant for ethical reasons. So it is important to be voluntary rather than than uh, forcing people. So educators should not force people to do what they don't want to do, but all efforts should be done to help people to make decisions and have their own choices. The criticism to health education, it has been criticized that it is too narrow, where it is focused on individuals' lifestyle. Always we are talking about changing lifestyle, changing la diet, uh, having healthy food, uh, having physical activity, stop smoking. So uh, they regard it as this, it, is, it is narrow. So it has been uh, found that more work was done about wider issues such as social policy, establishment of such policies that will change the, the, the health of the people or environmental safety measures in order to, to, to be wider aspect rather than only to the lifestyle aspect. And this is a cause, one of the causes of the emergence of the health, the term health promotion. So health education is a primary and dominant measure in health promotion. So health promotion, uh, health education is regarded as one of the dominant measure in health promotion. Health education priorities, there are different health education programs or aspect at different age group. Each age group have a special health educational program. For example, in the preschool age, we should always advise children about healthy nutrition. We should start as early as uh, in, the, in the preschool age about healthy food. And this should be start at the KG, for example, or the nurseries. Uh, we physical activity. We should promote physical activity as early as 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 possible, and personal hygiene. We should teach children the importance of hygiene, of hand washing, uh, of hand washing, for example, as early as uh, early in life, brushing teeth as early as two years. And now, by now, uh, by these days, they mentioned that it is the uh, brushing the teeth start as as soon as the first uh, tooth. So it is important to teach the children about hand washing and uh, certain daily regime, such as l l l l l physical activity and brushing teeth. Also, uh, basic on prevention of most common diseases. We teach some children about the prevention of diseases and communication, how to communicate with the, 
with the physician. At the school age, also, we will continue about how to improve the, the health style, uh, healthy lifestyle, and some regime uh, about work and rest, mental health, uh, sexual education, uh, education against the smoking and the drugs should be started as early as a school, and the prevention of most of common diseases. And also would continue to adolescent age also on education, on healthy lifestyle, sexual education, such as AIDS uh, or HIV infection and drugs, smoking, smoking and selection of a profession and to prepare them for a new or how to establish an occupation. Uh, for parent, parents, education of children about healthy lifestyle, smoking and alcoholism, drug abuse in children and, and youth, principles of prevention and treatment of certain diseases such as infectious diseases, orientation in the health care system, how to use a health care system at the proper time or when they are at need. For elderly people, adult or seniors, also we will continue on the healthy lifestyle, the impact of working and living environment on health, what are the effects of the uh, occupation on health or the environment on health, mental status, how to decrease the, um, how to manage or deal with the stress or cope with stress, because stress is regarded as one of the cause of illness uh, of illness so it is important and uh, it is involved in all aspect of life so it is important to uh, to uh, to uh, to teach people how to cope with with stress or how to deal with stress to decrease the risk of of uh, diseases which are related to stress which, which we call stress related disease such as uh, uh, coronary heart disease hypertension diabetes mental illness such as depression for example uh, or an anxiety or disturbance of sleep so it is important to uh, to teach people how to deal with with uh, stress or uh, peptic ulcer for example how to deal with with stress in order to decrease the risk of these diseases principles of a prevention and the treatment of most common diseases such uh, as uh, an individual getting older so they are liable to have large number of diseases such as non-communicable diseases diabetes hypertension coronary heart disease stroke uh, uh, joint uh, joint diseases or rheumatoid uh, rheumatic uh, disease rheumatoid disease so it is important to uh, to to educate people how to decrease the risk of these these diseases and how to manage these diseases and orientation in the healthcare system when they can use the healthcare services when they need it. Health education principles and concepts. Um, uh, so it, the aim of health education is mainly to for early diagnosis and management of disease. As we mentioned, the screening of different types of diseases, frequent screening of certain health problem in order for early detection and and management and we have already discussed some of for example self breast examination or a, 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 a periodic uh, pap smear for the mother uh, for for women for the screening of of cervical uh, cancer colon cancer colon cancer uh, screening for individuals above 50 years of age because uh, uh, colon cancer it is one of the cancers which can be uh, which can be screened uh, uh, after the age of 50 in order for early detection in order to change the prognosis and the, the management there are large number of early detection and management uh, of certain uh, health problem in order to change the the, 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 the prognosis or the hist natural history of the of the disease Health promotion and prevention. Uh, it is important uh, to promote health and the prevention large number of disease uh, uh, before the occurrence of disease. For example, education of mother about the how to uh, for the prevention of uh, uh, education of mother uh, to vaccinate their children as early as possible to prevent or to protect them 
from the uh, different types of communicable diseases and also health education of mother about healthy lifestyle or healthy diet or prevention of injuries among among children uh, utilization of available health services is important to educate people to use the uh, appropriate health care services when they need it health promotion uh, is defined by the world health organization as the process of enabling people to increase control over and improve their health so health promotion is any combination of health education health economics health policy and a spiritual our organizational initiative designed to bring the positive attitudinal uh, attitudinal sorry uh, behavioral social or environmental changes conducive to improving the health of the population so better health and better uh, quality of life health promotion equal to health education multiplied by health policies uh, public health policy uh, the main aims of health promotion is to enable people to increase control over the health and to improve over the all, all people health not only one or two individuals so their aim can be achieved by the following first health education environmental modification behavioral changes lifestyle changes and nutritional intervention which we have discussed this previously the main approaches for uh, health promotion is medical or preventive behavioral changes educational empowerment and social changes the concept of health uh, promotion it is either focus on person or a large group of people and it is important to have a good communication uh, uh, methods in order to uh, to uh, to give this inform to give the information to the people in order to change their behavior so it is important to have a good communication style or good communication method in order to transfer the information uh, to the individuals in order to to change their to change their behavior of health promotion it include the following first uh, the focus we are either uh, focus on individuals or groups or population and by different strategies such as uh, by education or by counseling or by economic changes or by application or legislative changes or application of some health policies or organizational changes in order to to improve the health of the people all this will lead to behavioral educational changes or social or economic and environmental changes and all this will lead to better health and then end with the quality of life uh, the five major areas or strategies in health promotion include the most important thing is the strengthening of community action which is by building a healthy public policy we mentioned uh, there are large number of public policies which improve the health of the of people and this or by developing personal skills by uh, by provide people with the information uh, to practice certain certain uh, skills in order for the uh, prevention of diseases for example uh, hand washing hand washing it is one of the important um, method for the prevention of large number of the infection not only the gastrointestinal diseases or infection but also other respiratory infections or other respiratory viruses such as uh, now by these days we they are always concentrating about the ha hand washing and the prevention or of covid-19 uh, hand washing uh, it is one of the procedure which have a significant importance in the prevention of large number of diseases and there is an international hand washing day which is the 15th of october and this is to encourage people to hand for hand washing frequently for the prevention of 
the diseases for uh, and also it is it is important to 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 demonstrate or explain the method of hand washing to people hand washing should be more than 20 seconds and uh, and frequently or more than 20 seconds in order uh, by water and soap in order to uh, to uh, prevent the uh, the infection so you we should practice that in front of others in order to develop the the appropriate skills it is important to create uh, a good environment or supportive environment uh, for the people or healthy environment in order to prevent large number of of diseases. Uh, we mentioned there are large number of uh, of environmental. Uh, uh, environmental hazards such as biological hazards or chemical hazards physical hazard so it is an occupational hazard it is important to um, to have a special protective or protection in order to uh, or have uh, provide people with certain information to prevent the uh, exposure to these hazards reorienting uh, health services health services it is uh, important um, it is important source of healthcare services and it should be it should be uh, it should be evaluated uh, frequently in order to detect uh, the gaps in the healthcare services in order to uh, provision of a better or a health a good health healthcare services in order to improve the quality in order to have a good output for the for the for the people thank you